Hey, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do three things. First, I'm gonna show you how to install Red Loader. Then I'm gonna show you how to install Unity Explorer. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how to install mods for Sons of the Forest. If you're not sure if these tools are for you, you can check out my channel and see some of the cool things I've done with them. You can also check out the Sons of the Forest modding website and see if some of these mods interest you as well. They're doing some really great things over there and I'm pretty glad to be a part of the community. I'm also going to have a link to their Discord and all of the websites you see here in the description below. That'll make it easier for you to keep up with me. So let's jump right in. So in order to have these tools function properly, we're going to need to download .NET 6.0. I'll have a link directly in the description and you can also click this button right here. This will instantly try to download the file for you and go ahead and save it on your desktop. This will make things a lot easier for us as we go through this tutorial. If you don't know how to access your desktop, look over here on your quick tools and select desktop. Make sure your name is correct and hit save. Next, navigate to your desktop. Now I have this custom built Windows 11 PC and for whatever reason, I have to reload my desktop anytime I download a new file. So if you don't see it on your desktop, try and give it a refresh. And we can see that our icon is right here. Let's go ahead and double click that. As you can see, the installer is going to pop up. You can go ahead and read this if you need to. And then we're going to go ahead and press install. I do want to make changes, so I'm going to hit yes here. I'm not sure if this is going to show up in my recording. And there you have it. .NET 6 is installing. Go ahead and hit the close button. Going back to my browser, I do want to go ahead and hit the back button here. And I want to explain that you do not want .NET 7.0. It's going to be incompatible with everything we're trying to do here. It may seem like it's a newer version. It's not going to help us out in this situation. So just ignore it. Make sure you get the 6.0. Next, we're going to need to download Red Loader. I'll have a link for this as well in the description, and the page you see is going to look something like this. If you don't see the list of files right here, go ahead and hit Assets. Download the Red Mod Manager, and also save this to your desktop. Once that saves, I'm going to go back there. I don't see it on my desktop, so I'm going to right click and hit refresh. I guess it's something to do with Windows 11. Again, this is a custom build PC, brand new, and I have this issue with everything. So I'm going to go ahead and click the file, double click it, and it's going to come up with this message here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit more info and run anyway. I trust the guys that developed it and I'm going to go ahead and run. When the installer pops up, we want to go ahead and install Red Loader. Now I do want to make note that if you've installed Melon Loader, it's going to give you the option here to uninstall Melon Loader. I recommend that you do it. It's not needed for this. Go ahead and uninstall Melon Loader if that's the case. Install Red Loader right after. I'm going to go ahead and hit install. And there you have it. Now we have Red Loader installed. Before I close this though, I'm going to go ahead and just launch my game. I can do that from opening up Steam and hitting the play button. And the reason I'm doing this is because there are some files that need to be added to our game before we can continue on. And I want to do this now and add those files before trying to add anything else. Now you know this is successful when you see the new starting up menu. We can see mods down here at the bottom. And I can see that it comes pre-installed with a mod by Tony Macaroni called Sun's Game Manager. You can play with this on your free time. I'm not going to get into it right now. I go ahead and press the X and exit the game. And now I'm going to show you how to download some mods. So I'm going to go back to my browser. I'm going to head on over to sonsoftheforestmods.com. And as you can see from this download page, there are lots of cool mods to mess with. You can sort by category, you can check out different pages, and you can even search right here. But the thing I want most out of this is Unity Explorer. And that can actually be found in that Red Loader Manager that we downloaded. So I'm going to open that back up. I'm going to head over to the Extras section. And I'm going to install Unity Explorer by clicking this button right here. And that was it. That was pretty quick. If you want to check your game files and confirm that this stuff is actually installing, you can head on over to Steam, right click on your game, Sons of the Forest, and you can go to Manage and Browse Local Files. And this is kind of important as well because this is where our mods are going to go when we try to install them personally. You can see right here we have a mods folder. If you don't see a mods folder, 
It could mean several different things. It doesn't mean that you installed it incorrectly. It could just mean you didn't install Unity Explorer, which I highly recommend you do. You can go ahead and make a new folder and just name it mods. And this is where you're gonna put all your mods at. I'm gonna double click this folder. I can see that Unity Explorer did install correctly. And if I wanted to get a mod from the website, I'm just gonna pick one here at random. I'm gonna go with the Mines of the Forest. I'm gonna select See More. So here I can see a direct download button. This is what I'm most interested in. I'm gonna click on direct download and we're gonna save this file on the desktop. Click save. I'm gonna go back to my desktop. I'm gonna right click this file and extract all right here. It's gonna tell me what folder it's gonna put it into. That's fine. I'm gonna extract it here. Once it extracts, I can go ahead and open it slide this over to the side and if you're in your main sons of the forest directory you can simply drag this folder right on in and if we open it up we can see that the minds of the forest files have been added to our mod folder and that's it that's pretty much how you download any one of these mods from this website it's a pretty simple process pretty straightforward and I gotta thank the modding community especially Tony Macaroni for all the work that he's done to make this happen I'm not sure who made this mod website, but it looks great and it functions pretty well. If you want to learn more about Unity Explorer, check out my channel. Pretty much most of my videos are based around Unity Explorer and creating mods. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll be glad to help you out, bring you step through step if I need to. It's no bother, trust me. I love talking about this game and I love helping people out. If you want to uninstall Red Mod Manager and all of the mods with it, go ahead and open up your Mod Manager. And you can simply uninstall Red Loader right here. You can head on over to Extras and uninstall Unity Explorer. And for the rest of your files, you can just delete them straight out of this folder right here. I hope this tutorial is beneficial for you. Have a great day.